Assembling RTA cabinets from Domain Cabinets Direct is a snap. It only takes a very few simple tools. A corner wall cabinet is a larger cabinet. If you have a friend, it's time to call in that favor. Remember to take care when opening the packing box. Start by cutting the ends first, then lift up the back, a small cut on the packing tape, and then a quick pop, and you're ready to inspect the contents. Take your time when inspecting the contents. Remember that this step is to help make you familiar with all of the parts of the cabinet. That way, when you go to assemble them, you'll know where to find them and you also have an idea of what each part does. After you become familiar with the parts of the cabinet, it's also a good idea to get familiar with the hardware. Unpack the hardware into a container. That way you won't lose the small pieces. Start by attaching some set pins into one of the sides. Then attach the set pins to the face frame. Then place set pins into the other side. Then place a few more set pins into back one. and finish this step by putting set pins into back two. Now that all the set pins have been placed into the sides, it's time to start the assembly. Start the assembly with the cabinet top, and the cabinet bottom. Note that back one and back two have a small groove for the final back section, back three. This face frame has beveled edges where it attaches to the two sides at an angle. And this is back three, which is a thin piece. Notice that it has a finished side and an unfinished side. The finished side faces the inside of the cabinet. Once again, remember to note the beveled edges which attach to side 1 and side 2. Both sides of the face frame are beveled. And 
both the top of the face frame and the bottom are flat. And this is the door. Start assembling this wall cabinet using the bottom and the top and one of the two sides. Place over the set pins and secure using the interlocks. When you've completed attaching both the bottom and the top to one of the sides, it's time to place the face frame. But don't lock down all the interlocks, only lock down the two on the adjacent attached side. Then, place the other side gently into the holes. And remember to tighten down the interlocks. After the face frame, the two sides, the top and the bottom are attached. Now it's time to set the backs. The backs simply slide over the set pins, make a few small adjustments, and then lock into place using the interlocks. Then repeat the exact same procedure for back number two. Now we're nearing the final step of assembling the cabinet box. Find the grooves for back number three. Insert back number three, being sure to use the finished side as the inside. Slide it gently into place. Make sure it lines up. And then use a couple of very small set screws to hold that back into place. And now we're ready to install the door. The doors are pre-cored. The hinges are easy to fit. Just line them up and screw them into place. After checking the door to make sure it's operating properly, it's time to install the shelf set pins. Make sure that the shelf set pins are installed in corresponding holes so the shelf sits level. Find the front end of the shelf and slide it into place. Congratulations, you've just completed the assembly of your corner wall cabinet.